Hello friends, welcome to DP Tutorials. In this tutorial, let us learn about retained logic versus progress override in Primavera P6. In Oracle Primavera P6 Schedule Options dialog box enables users to select between retained logic and progress override and actual dates to schedule activities. This is a sample project I will be using for demonstration in this tutorial. This project is planned to start from 9th August 2019. Let's suppose that we are updating the schedule with respect to the data date as on 9th August 2019. So now let's assume that activity C has been completed irrespective of the logic by 8th August 2019 ahead of activity A and B. Okay. Now observe that activity C's successors are activity D and E. Okay. Now let us schedule this project by pressing F9 or this using this schedule icon. Click on this options in this schedule dialog box. Here in schedule options under when scheduling progressed activities use, select the option called retain logic first okay when using retain logic the activity that starts out of sequence that is activity c in this example will have no direct impact on successes as this retain logic respects the network logic okay close this scheduling options dialog box and now carefully observe the activities d and e here in this Gantt chart. Now click on this scheduling button, schedule. Now click on this schedule button. You will notice that activities D and E were being pushed by the activity B, which is getting completed on 27th August because our activity C has gone out of sequence. Okay, this is respecting the logic. Got it friends? Okay, now let us see the other option called progress override. Again, click on this options and select option progress override this time. Close this options dialog box. Now have an eye on this activity D and E. Click the schedule button. You will notice that the activity D and E's start date has moved to data date. This is because when scheduling users progress override, Primavera P6 ignores the relationship between the activities. Got it? So friends, using these scheduling options, retain logic and progress override, one can schedule the remaining durations of out of sequence activities like activity C. So friends, this is all about retain logic versus progress override in Primavera P6. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, Please give me a like, share and comment. For further more interesting videos, please do subscribe DP Tutorials. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching.